One of the most famous and well-studied sites of the ancient people of the Stone Age of the Middle Paleolithic is located in the picturesque ravine of the small river Drymachetka in the north of Volgograd. The first stone tools on the outskirts of Stalingrad were discovered by geologist Mikhail Grishchenko in 1951, when the area was surveyed before the construction of the Volga hydroelectric power station. A year later, the expedition of Sergei Zamyatnin began work here. For two years minus 1952 and 1954, archaeologists explored part of the parking area with an area of 650 square meters. The estimated area of the settlement is up to one-sixth of a hectare. The cultural layer with a thickness of about 40 cs is covered by a many-meter layer of marine sediments of the transgression, raising the water level of the Caspian Sea during the interglacial period about 50,000 years ago. The researchers collected the bones of animals of that period, bison, horse, sega, mammoth, about 8,000 stone products. Among them minus 365 stone tools made of flint, quartzite, sandstone. These are chopped, knife-shaped plates, pointed. In addition, five large and several small ash spots, traces of hearts, were found on the site. Accumulations of animal bones and stone tools gravitate towards them. This allows us to assume the presence of dwellings near the hearts, most likely in the form of conical huts, such as chums. Paleotonical data obtained after the completion of the excavations indicated a temperate climate and steppe vegetation with a predominance of sagebrush, forbs and grasses during the time of the Neanderthals. Pine, spruce and birch grew from the trees in this place. The excavation material is stored in the funds and presented in the exposition of the Volgograd Regional Museum of Local Lore. Many years later, in 2018, excavations at the location of the Paleolithic site of Stone Age people in the bed of the Sukhia Machetka River were resumed by employees of the Institute of the History of Material Culture of the Russian Academy of Sciences. In the current 2021, these excavations were continued. A group of 11 scientists from Volgograd, Moscow, Street. Petersburg and Novosibirsk is working on studying an ancient site near the right bank of the Drymachet Kigali. A team of scientists is exploring the monument comprehensively. The group includes employees of the Institute of the History of Material Culture of the Russian Academy of Sciences, the Institute of Geography of the Russian Academy of Sciences, Moscow State University, the Siberian branch of the Russian Academy of Sciences, the Volgograd Scientific and Production Center for the Protection of Historical and Cultural Monuments, the Historical, Ethnographic and Architectural Museum Reserve, Old Sarepta. Students of the Volgograd State Sociopedagogical University provide great help in the work. In the course of research, scientists plan to determine the exact time when Neanderthals lived in these places and find out what the climate was like at that time in their place of residence. It is also noteworthy that the studied cultural layer is located at a depth of 23 meters, which makes the Volgograd site of an ancient man one of the deepest in the world. There are already new discoveries. Although only a square meter was excavated, a fragment of the pelvic bone of a bison was found on it. And one of the employees found a scraper in the dump, lost by Soviet archaeologists. It is possible that under the discovered cultural layer there may be other, more ancient ones. When studying the cultural layer of the site, modern dating methods are used to determine the time period of the ancient site. According to experts, archaeological work in the Volgograd region is of great importance for the study of the history of mankind, since very few artifacts of the Stone Age have been preserved. According to experts, this is the only site in Europe that has been excavated over a large area at the same time. Thanks to this, it is possible to obtain additional information about the life of Neanderthals. Archaeologists took advantage of the unique opportunity to obtain soil samples to send them for laboratory research to the Institute of Geography of the Russian Academy of Sciences and other scientific institutions in the country and abroad to more accurately determine the macromorphological soil structure of this.